Nats win the series in a position to sweep tomorrow night from level seven down to level one. Live press conference with Jim Riggleman. Uh, a great plate discipline. He still walks plenty, but uh, he's, he's doing a lot of damage right now. Jim, how was J.D. when you, when you brought him out uh, of the game? I mean, he looked a little upset, but at that point with the first two guys getting on base and that... No, I think, uh, you know, he wasn't upset with, with anybody but maybe himself for not fielding that ground ball, you know. Um, he had a nice inning going, nice, clean, quick inning. And uh, I think he would, if he had to do over, he'd use his glove. You know, I think he he maybe didn't think he had as much time as he needed to. I think he tried to kind of grab it barehanded. But, uh, and then, you know, the inning started taking off. But, um, you know, he, he did a good job. Say what, what was working for him tonight? Well, it wasn't his curveball. I mean, his curveball was, uh, he threw a couple good ones, but he's got such a good curveball. And tonight, uh, he, he just it wasn't tempting enough to get too many guys to swing at it. So the pitch that was working for him was a cutter, and, they, and he had a good one. But, uh, you know, he, he needs to have his curveball too. Is the first of Kennedy's two plays to recognize that the out that he had was to go to second base? Oh, that was big. Uh, you know, as soon as, as soon as he jumped up in the air, I'm, you know, I'm thinking I, I made a defensive replacement there if I had a taller first baseman and done catch the ball, you know. But uh, Adam did a great job knocking that ball down. When, when, a, when a right-handed hitter hits the ball that way or a left-handed hitter hits that ball on the line like that to the third baseman, that's a very tough play, and he got his glove on it and, um, and knocked it down. I thought that we had no play because Caps wasn't at first base and uh, he was he was aware enough to realize we had to play at second just kept his composure and made a nice play after struggling there offensively at the end of June how nice is it to see Zimmerman done it seems like they're starting to now get back into that rhythm well they are you know they, they uh, tonight in the first inning our first two guys got on uh, you know then they did some our big boys did some damage and that's huge you know um I think they li they like coming up there with men on base, and Niger's been doing a much better job, and uh, Bernie was on there for him tonight. Sorry, just asked earlier. Um, it does seem like the ball's just uh, jumping out of here the past couple nights with the, the heat? The ball's definitely carrying better right now, yeah. Um, it's... Um, you know, you wouldn't think it'd be that way when it gets hot and humid, but the the ball is 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 carrying better. Though every ball that was hit out of the ballpark was was legit, but uh, uh, there's been some lately. I think we, you know, I think Desmond hit one last week that didn't go out. We assumed was out. A um, couple balls that uh, the Mets hit were, uh, you know, we I thought those balls were out. I think David Wright hit one of them. Maybe uh, Davis hit one. I assumed they were gone. They didn't go, but. Uh, the last couple nights, it's it's been playing. The park's played real fair, and if you if you hit it, it it's going to go. Jim Kelly mentioned the offense, but when when you do that against a team that's pitched as well as they have for the majority of the year, and you know what their ERA is like, uh, you know, does it speak more to your guys coming around or? Yeah, you know, they they have not. Uh, Given up anything. I mean, every night they're they're in a, a two to one, three to one ball game. It seems like, and uh, if if you score runs on them, they they keep coming at you. You know, they they got a heck of a ball club. They really grind out with bats. Um, they they don't quit. They they just kept coming. It's a real credit to those guys. But uh, they they can really pitch, and and uh, our guys have really been up to the challenge here the last couple of days. Caps has had a few games where he's come in and. Given up a you know base runners maybe a run but still got the save. What sort of your mindset watching him? You know, it's not easy, but he's still getting those those saves done. Yeah, you know, and that's that's the point. Uh, if if we've had a three run lead, he might give up one or two. If we've had a one run lead, he's generally put a zero up there. But uh, he's um, he's right there at the top of the league in saves, and I think that speaks for itself. Okay, gang, thank you. That's